my name is Angelique. Um, this is my first YouTube tutorial. I wanted to make a YouTube channel for you guys all to enjoy who love makeup, men, women, whatever. Um, I actually loved how this look turned out. Like I did a silver kind of uh, cherry cola, smoky eye. It was so easy to do. I did add um, wing liner, as you see. Um, wing liner is not my favorite, but actually turned out really good. And this highlight, this is my go-to skin. A lot of people have been asking me like, what do I do, my, do to my skin? It looks amazing all the time. But you guys have it here. I show you like all the steps that I took, all like the makeup stuff. Um, if you guys miss anything, I did put everything down in the description box. But um, hopefully you guys enjoy this look. I love doing smoky eyes. There's like one of my favorites, especially with a nude lip. Like I find nude lip and highlighted cheeks are like totally in right now. But um, I hope you guys enjoy my first YouTube tutorial. It was really like fun to film it. Hopefully I didn't talk too much. Um, but I mean, I'm still new at this. So like, don't come for me. Don't judge me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Enjoy. Okay, so I already moisturized my face. I'm going to move on to primer. I just ignore this guy right here it's my time of the month and yeah that's all I have to say about that I think I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier what is this this is the foundation primer and radiant so this will give you like a really nice glow I'm just gonna apply that all on the face oh my god it's so ugly you guys don't judge me don't look at it okay I like this because it has a little bit of a shimmer and this didn't give me that ultimate glow within like it's so freaking pretty okay okay I think I'm gonna put my mirror here so you guys can like so I'll be looking into the mirror and kind of looking into the camera because I feel like I don't look in the camera you guys aren't gonna know what I'm doing um, I think I want to do a wing liner today but we'll see how the look ends up I'm gonna spray this elf dewy setting spray I really like this this is only nine dollars I got it at London drugs but we're just gonna spray it all over the face just because I'm feeling really dry today so that's what I'm gonna do okay and I'm gonna move on to my foundation. I'm gonna use this hourglass, it's so dirty. I'm gonna use this hourglass um, vanish stick foundation in the shade vanilla. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna just apply this all on my face. I'm gonna do like the center, cover that pimple, like that, like that, like that. And there, yeah, and just paint myself on. And I'm gonna use two different shades. This is like, I'm gonna show you my go-to foundation routine that I always do, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use a new one. Uh, this shade is in Nude. I have the other one, but it's like till the end and I just want to paint it on for you guys so you guys can see. Also, purpose of the video. New one, yeah, this is in the shape nude. And we're just gonna apply it here, 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 here. I have like different makeup for like filming because like, I don't like the video to be too long. Here, go here. I really love this foundation. It just like, do, it doesn't go on cakey or like too thick, you know what I mean? Okay. Then I'm gonna mix it with this Born This Way Too Faced foundation in the shade Nude. This is my shade I've been using. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, I totally forgot to clean my sponge. I'll be right back. 
I can't believe I didn't clean my sponge. Whoopsies. Anyways, you just bring um, just a damp beauty sponge. This is the Morphe one. It's my favorite. Um, yeah. And then just bring it out. You don't want the sponge to be wet. You want it like damp because you want like one time I applied concealer and I forgot to wring out the sponge and then like my concealer was all patchy like it was a bad mess anyways I'm gonna take the sponge and apply the foundation like that and then some people put it behind their hand like on the back of their hand some people do it on the foundation this is how I do it you can do it whatever you want and then I'm just gonna spray the sponge and just apply to the face like that yeah okay now i look crazy okay we're just gonna spray the tip of the sponge my morphe sponge i'm just gonna spray with some setting spray and then we're just gonna blend that out like no tomorrow i like this concealer because like it doesn't um dry out and you can still blend it after like and i'm just like i hate concealers that you can't blend out yeah see like look at that it's so pretty spray again and we're gonna do the other side of the under eye and then the upper lip and get like those crevices in the nose whatever Okay, put that there. Okay, now we're gonna do um, setting face, face setting, whatever. You know what I mean. We're gonna do face powder. Okay, I'm gonna use this Hourglass Veil translucent setting powder. I love this translucent setting powder. It has a light shimmer to it. Just gonna take it on here. This like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then we're gonna go on with bronzer. I don't know which bronzer I want to use. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown one. Yeah, this one's nice. This is in the shade uh, natural. And it's actually a pretty shade, like a very neutral color. What brush do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. I've been loving, I know my brushes are so dirty. I've been using this um, Morphe Y1. And I really like it because it's like pointy. Just bronze the face. I don't know if you guys like know this about me, but... I love bronzing the face. It's like one of my favorite steps. It just like comes together. It makes your skin look so, thank you know, bronzing. <laughs> Great description, Angelique. And then just do a little bit of the forehead. We're gonna go back in with the bronzer later, um, because I find when I like bake and I take off the bakeage, it kind of loses that bronziness. So we're gonna do that after. Okay, now we're gonna bake, and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I like this for the bottom of my face. I use this Jaclyn Hill palette. It's so dirty. Is anyone excited for like her, um, uh, the, like volume two palette? Like I'm super excited for that. Okay. I'm going to use this Morphe R37 brush. This is from the Rose Gold Collection. And I have to show you guys what color I'm using. So I got to lift this up. And I'm going to go in with the shade Silk Cream. This is like the perfect transition color. And like, I like this transition color because it's like really kind of more of a peachy. Okay. My eyeball hurts. And I'm just going to... Place that into the crease of the eyes. Just 
like this. We're gonna bake, but I'm gonna show you how I do my eyes. I do this step first, and then I put the underneath powder and I extend the color out, just so I want that like um, cat eye I'm looking for. And this is how I do it. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. This is the JH33, and this is more like flat, so I can get into that crease. So now we're gonna go in with the darker shade, and I'm gonna use, ooh, what color would I use? Um, I'm gonna use this color called Jax, and then I'm gonna use this color called Chip. It's more like a chocolatey brown, and I'm gonna mix those two together. on my brush and I don't want too much and I'm just gonna pat that into the skin pat that under the eye actually and then just blend that out you don't want too much right now because you want to like Make yourself look like you have a bruise. But we just want to know we're gonna blend more out when we put the lid color on. So flat brush. And then I'm gonna use this is the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette in the shade. This is the Dark Magic palette, and we're gonna use this power cut color. It's really pretty for this look. I don't want too much, but just take enough. I don't overdo it and then we're gonna use that elf setting spray and just spray the brush we want it to be intense onto the eye this trick like every makeup artist uses like i don't even remember when i didn't wet my brush because i always do and so just put that all on the lid i have really small eyelids hence why I'm half Asian. I definitely have my mom's eyelids. Like, I mean, my dad has small eyelids for a Caucasian guy, but I definitely got it from my mom. She also got her eye, her eyes done a few times, so, which I don't know why. Like, like she wanted her eyes more open, but you know, whatever makes her happy, I'm happy for her. <laughs> And then just, um, we're going to go in with that again. Don't cover the whole eyelid. We're going to, I'm going to perfect it a little bit more. I feel like I suck at explaining things. I don't know why. Okay. Just like a few times. And then I air it out and pat it on the palm of my hand. And just go back in under the eye. Just to like refresh the under eye and take away any cakiness. And I find this trick is what makes my eye, my, make, not my eyes, my makeup looking so flawless. And do it again on the other side. And just like, you don't want it too wet. You don't want it taking off your foundation. So I just pat it and go underneath here. Ta-da, like that looks way better already. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Maybelline Eye Studio in the shade Black is Black. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. And then I'm just going to take this eyeliner brush. You can use any brush, but this is the Morphe 443. I'm running low, but I have more. And then we're just going to line the under eye here. We're done. No. I'm going to show you. I'm going to smoke this out. Girl, I'm looking rough. It's so hard not to open my mouth when I'm doing my, my under eye. Like, you guys should try it because... It's 
really hard. <laughs> be honest okay and then we're gonna take um this little guy this pencil brush this is the jh38 and then we're just gonna go back in with that silk cream and me uh, what is it mfeo shade maybe like it looks a little choppy under there i want to make it look perfect so we're just gonna go back underneath and go like that and just perfect it a little bit more. I'm a perfectionist, so I want everything to be perfect. My opinion, to be honest. Okay, now, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna apply concealer under my eyebrow. So we're gonna go back in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're just gonna take the tip of the applicator and I'm using the Morphe M432, just this definer brush. And we're just gonna, the brow highlight. So now I'm gonna go in with the JH42, this little smudger guy, and then I'm gonna go in with this two shades in light and beam. I can't decide which color I want to use, so I usually go in with both and just go like that and just apply it to the brow. And so that brow highlight is not looking as intense as I want it to, so usually I spray it with the brush the second time and it makes it really intense. Nose contour. I'm just gonna go back in with that um, Bobbi Brown um, bronzing powder, and I'm gonna use this Kylie brush. It's like a pointy, ang pointy, pointed angle, and I love this for my nose contour. And I just like go like this. Yeah, you don't want it too much. But you want like enough to make it look snatched. Yeah. I feel like it looks different in the mirror than like on camera, but whatever. Like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Then we're gonna go back in with the sponge. And we're just gonna do the same thing like before and just get that cakiness underneath just because i don't want it looking too crepey under there now i'm gonna go back in with that po emphasize uh shade and we're just gonna because it's looking like super hollow under my eyes so i just want to go back in with that highlighting shade and just add some more depth under the eye Now, I'm gonna do eyeliner, I think. Yeah, eyeliner. I'm gonna use, um, this is the Royal Lang Nickel. It, this is a brow, um, brow brush, but I use it for my eyeliner, I don't care. Okay, I hate doing eyeliner. Like, I, if you see me do like a look and I don't do eyeliner, that's because like, I dread doing eyeliner. So I'm just gonna take some of that. And just grab like some product. Okay. Ugh, I have to do eyeliner. Oh my god. Okay. So usually I do the tail and then draw it back in, but we'll see how I do. Just like that. And then I go Online, and I just like fill it in basically like that that looks okay I think okay <laughs> whoopsies and then I just want to make it yeah that's okay 
and usually like, I wipe it off on like one of these. This is just what I use to tone my face with. So I'll just like wipe it off because you don't want it too gumpy when you put on the eyeliner on your eyelid. That's okay. So we'll see. Some people like um, the pens. I don't really like the pen because I feel like it doesn't last all day. And also you're like prone to make mistakes. But everyone likes their own way. I just always use gel like for under the eye and for the top. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. That. Okay, now we're gonna go on towards mascara. And I'm gonna use this L'Oreal, I can never say this word, voluminous. Oh my god, I said it. I always say voluminous, voluminous lash paradise. This is the waterproof one, but whoopsies, I grabbed the wrong one. Who cares? I like the brush, it's just really pretty. And like careful not to like look up too high because then your eyeliner will hit your upper lid. We don't want that. Because I can't find my other brush I was looking for. Oh well. Just like that, just to give it some rosiness. Blush is like one of my favorite things to apply. Just gives you so much life back to your face and I just love it. Okay, and then we're gonna add some highlights. So this is the J01 and we're gonna go in with this luminous powder in the shade Do Me. I love this powder. We're just gonna go in here and dip. And just go like this softly on the cheeks also if i put too much blush i find this kind of diffuses the blush so you don't want to look like a clown but also like blush fades really quickly on me i don't know why i feel like i'm the only one that happens to because i talk to all my friends they're like oh that never happens to me it's like well lucky you like <laughs> Also, my mom, like, she's never really liked blush before. I don't know why. Like, I think she thinks it's, like, bad for your cheeks or you're going to get pimples. But I wash my face. So. So this basically just gives you, like, a really luminous kind of glow. And I don't want too much. Now we're gonna go in with the actual highlights, but I'm gonna use this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love this spray, I think a lot of people do. And you just spray away. I usually use a mini fan, because I don't wanna look um, up too quickly, and then I'll ruin my eyeshadow and my eyeliner. Especially because I think my lashes are still kind of on the wet side. Okay. That seems better. I'm going to go in with this Jaclyn Flash Highlighting Palette. Love this palette. And then I'm going to go in with her brush as well. So this is the J02 brush. I'm basically going to use Gleam. Gleam. This is iced, and I'm gonna use sparks. So I kind of go dun 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 dun. It's really descriptive, and I just apply it on the apple of the cheeks, the highlighting area. Like, look at that glow! Oh, bitch! Okay, and then we're gonna go in again. Just. I don't want too much going on. Okay, now 
I'm gonna use this color. This is the Luminous Highlighter from Jaclyn Hill um, in the shade Bomb. Focus, Bomb. Okay. I'm gonna use this color. This is the Luminous Highlighter from Jaclyn Hill um, in the shade Bomb. Focus, Bomb. brush. I'm going to use this one. I love this brush. I think a lot of people do actually because it's so different than your regular highlighting brush. Um, and then I just dip in that shade Bomb. Not too. And then we're going to do the middle of the nose just a little bit. And the forehead, the upper lip, and chin. Okay, I'm looking bomb, yo. Okay, and then we're gonna add a lighter color. We're gonna go back in with that extra shade just to give it more of a glowy highlight. Love to look glowy. Just dip a little bit, because this is pigmented. One time I put like too much, I was like, whoa! I had to like blend it out with a sponge. So it was a little too much. I never thought I would say that too much highlight. Is that even possible? Okay. And then a little bit on the nose. The forehead, upper lip, and chin. Perfect. I am glowing, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna do lips. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. I really love this Brazilian kiss from Sol de Janeiro. This smells like candy. I like the highlight. I love how big it is. That's what she said. Mmm. It's so hydrating. And then I just take it with my finger and rub it out. Oh, here we go. I love, I'm going to use this one, Morphe. I'm using a lot of Morphe. This is my go-to lip pencil from Morphe. I think it's like $4 Canadian and US it's like $2. And they are so unbelievably creamy. Like they're not like the MAC ones. Like if you like more of a pencil lip, then go stick with the MAC ones. But these are not as creamy as the Kylie one, but like in between. I'm just gonna sharpen this. This is such a pretty color. Like I'll show you guys. Just draw on my hand. It's like the perfect nude that you need. Gonna draw my lips. The paint like that. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a lip gloss. I wanna use this Maybelline Vivid Hot Black here in I'm Tees. I just bought this off Amazon. I want to see if it looked good with this lip color. So pretty in nude. Oh, I love it. So nude. It's my favorite. Such a pretty, it looks really pretty with this eye lip. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with the Morphe setting spray just to set again. Okay. And then I'm gonna just set the brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. This is my favorite brow gel of all time. mascara. I'm going to use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Such a long name for mascara, but I love this mascara because of the wand. Like, it's a really pretty wand. 
and it gets right under there. There you have it, you guys. Um, I had to curl my hair really quickly and then put some pretty earrings. But this is the silver smoky eye with the tense wing liner. I actually loved how this look turned out. Um, it looks so pretty, especially now that I curled my hair. I'm like living for this look. But um, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first YouTube video video tutorial um i did film a video like a couple months ago but like it wouldn't upload on my windows laptop but i just bought an apple's laptop so it should be fine and i'm excited this is my youtube channel um i hope you guys enjoy this look don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on all socials let me know what kind of other looks you guys are looking for like if you want more like uh just a matte smoky eye would look really pretty with a nude lip or I could even do like a natural eye look with like a bold lip I love bold lips but um I have some ideas and I also want to do like a drug store tutorial like or affordable makeup whatever give me some ideas let me know until next time you guys bye